Hey, welcome back to Burning with Chris. In this episode, we are burning in and around the city of Antigua, Guatemala. Antigua is a Spanish colonial city built in 1543. It used to be the capital of Guatemala, but due to fires, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions, the capital was relocated 40 kilometers east to Guatemala City. In addition to the beautifully preserved buildings and monuments, Antigua is surrounded by volcanoes and lush highland forests, providing habitat for a wide variety of birds. The most common bird I saw on the streets of Antigua is the great-tailed grackle. This grackle was perched on the window of a local shop, flying down to drink out of a dog bowl on the sidewalk. We're in the plaza in Antigua, Guatemala right now. We're trying to see the parrots, but it's pretty crowded due to the flower celebration. So we're just gonna enjoy the celebration, let's go. So the town of Antigua is an interesting place because there's not very many street trees except of the plaza in the middle which mainly has rock pigeons and there's a big festival going on. So I figured that the best places are little gardens and patios. For me, it's our rooftop where you can see many different kinds of trees, plants, and you can get really good bird species like orioles, tanagers, woodpeckers, warblers, and much more. I think it's a Merlin. I think it's a Merlin. This is this is the first raptor from our rooftop. Nice. After celebrating the Merlin sighting, I headed back down to the streets of Antigua in search of more birds. It's such a fun place to walk around. I got my first unexpected sightings of reptiles, these baby turtles being sold on the corner. I also experienced the beautiful bird murals and artwork around the downtown plaza. The following morning, we drove about 15 minutes out of town to Finca El Pilar. Finca El Pilar is a private nature preserve with more than 950 acres of mixed pine, oak, cypress forest, and cloud forest. Hummingbird feeders are located at the lower entrance to the trail. This is a great spot to see white-eared hummingbirds. Rivoli's hummingbirds. Azure crowned hummingbirds. Barrel line hummingbirds plus other regional endemic hummingbird species. We drove up the road to the top of the mountain and got incredible views of two volcanoes, including volcanic activity from Fuego. While enjoying the views of the volcanoes, we heard the call of the northern pygmy owl, so we headed into the jungle. The Guatemalan pygmy owl is a subspecies of the northern pygmy owl that is found in Mexico, Guatemala, and Honduras. The Guatemalan pygmy owl's taxonomy is unsettled. Some taxonomic systems consider it to be a subspecies of the northern pygmy owl. I hope that with more research, the Guatemalan pygmy owl will be identified as its own species. It has a distinct and separate range from the closely related mountain pygmy owl, and it has a unique call. These are two unique traits that support calling the Guatemalan pygmy owl its own species. The Guatemalan pygmy owl is primarily a diurnal bird, which means it is active during the day. As a daytime hunter, it has an appetite for songbirds and lizards. We've seen a lot of great species so far. The Kohler Trogon, which was the best, where we walked through off the road into the jungle and we got great views of it. We're hearing the brownback solitaire right now. We're trying to find it. We're gonna go through the jungle and find the brownback solitaire. Let's go.
thank you so much for watching this episode of Birding with Chris. If you want to see more Guatemalan content, like and subscribe and check out Birding in Guatemala City, Birding in Tikal, and Pursuit of the Pink-Headed Warbler. Happy birding!